Hey, what's up? You're here with Greg Lutzka. Today we're gonna do a board setup and uh, check it out. So we have the Dark Star board. We did a collab with Harley Davidson. I'm originally from Milwaukee, so it's pretty cool to work with a company like Harley and it's a cool board graphic series we did. We got today also, today I'm gonna be riding some Mob Grip, Thrasher, Mob Collab, and we got Rick the Wheels. 51s. Normally I ride 50s. I stepped it up to the 51 now. These are the new slicks. Um, they're supposed to last longer, grind better. I don't know. It's supposed to be pretty good. And we have independent trucks. Indies. I don't know. I've been riding Indies since I was a, a young kid. So these are the best. They didn't have the titanium when I was a kid, but now they got titanium and hollow. So they're super light and they're just awesome trucks. And we have FKD bearings. These are new bearings. These are the Swiss bearings. Um, so these ones are actually really, really good. So uh, here we go, let's set this thing up. So we're gonna start off by obviously gripping the board. What's cool about mob grip tape is they got these little holes in here, so your air bubbles aren't gonna be as uh, as noticeable. If you even get any, you're not even really gonna get air bubbles, so that's kind of cool. Yeah, I love that. They should have had that forever, you know? Yeah. I always had that issue before. Oh shit. Gotta realign it. Damn, even the pros mess up, man. I ain't pro no more. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Do you always skate the uh, the impact boards? I always skate the impact decks, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, Mickey Papa was telling me they're just insanely strong. Like, Yeah, these boards, I don't really break that much, to be honest with you. And yeah. I'm not just saying that because I ride the impact series or whatever. Like, honestly, I don't break that many boards. I don't know, even growing up, I never really broke a ton of boards, but here and there I would, these these newer ones. You're a pretty big dude, so that's surprising to me. Yeah, you they're, know? they're actually pretty strong. And it's cool because you can't even tell once you have the board on, it just looks like a normal, you know. Let's check out that graphic. Here's the graphic. So sick, dude. Congrats on that collab. Thank you. The collector series kind of deal, they want to put a wall. Best tool on the market. Yeah. This tool is good, it's just got the ratchet in it, so it's super easy to super sort of put everything together. Good old trusty uh, switchblade here. Oh, it's pretty gnarly. Uh, I pretty much say this every board setup video, but all you guys do stuff so different, dude. <laughs> like some people will put their grip on and not sand it down. Really? Just put it on and cut it right out. And I'm just tripping like, dude, how does it even stay on, you know? Yeah, I always sand it down a little bit. And then afterwards, um, I just take the leftover grip and I kind of just do one quick swipe, just like this. And this grip is pretty, pretty good. It never really peels off or anything like that. So that's, that's about all you need right there. Yeah, mob's super sticky. Yeah, so where's the, the hardware? Plus reserve. Plus reserve hardware. Wait, it comes with this? I guess so, yeah. I always ride random hardware. You usually have like diamond hardware or something. This is just kind of what I had laying around. Here. The bolts. Man, I really like that matte finish. Oh yeah, the matte? Yeah. I've always liked My actually first bike that I got was matte black, so really, yeah, it's kind of like that. It's pretty nice. Stealth. Stealth. To be honest with you, I never really rode this hardware, but these these ones look a little bit uh, like the tops are kind of big. Yeah, I kind of like that better. You I kind of feel like yeah, once it presses in, it's less Balls. likely to loosen. Really? You know? Yeah. Those are actually extremely big though, but yeah, <laughs> try it out. <laughs> Give it a shot. Give it a shot. It ain't gonna change anything, I don't think, too much. Damn, those trucks do look so sick, though. Yeah, the Indies, the Titaniums. Man. The... That's a trip. I never knew you rode size 50 wheels, dude. Yeah, 50s. Trying 51s. Yeah. Bro, I went down to a 49. I guess uh, Spitz makes some 49s, and they didn't have any 50s at the shop I went to. Yeah. So I picked some up, and it's it's kind of trippy because you know, like sometimes when you put wheels on, you skate them for too long. Yep. They're ultra small. Yeah. And you go back up to the 50, and you're like, oh Seems damn, big. you feel huge. Yeah. I actually like 50s are perfect for me. Just these slicks that I like 
that they make, um, they only make them in the smallest, I think it's 51s. So yeah. It's, not that it's that big of a difference, but. It's really not. It's like, really not. a couple days, you're good. Yeah. You know? Like, maybe a couple flip tricks will feel a little funny at first, but. Yeah. New trucks are ours is kind of weird, too. So, I, I, uh, I'll show you guys here in a bit, but. Let me get this thing on. I use uh, these, these bushings. Yeah, me too. So, I do it a little different than some people use both. I use only. Uh, only the tops and I leave the original indie bushings as the bottom. Oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah, I use um a hard and a medium. Oh, okay. So I use the, I think it's the medium on the bottom. It's either a medium or a soft. I know it's like a combination. I can't remember who taught me about it, but it's it's amazing, dude. Yeah. Like the only thing I feel like I have to break in is the pivot cup, you know? Okay. Yeah, it has do you ride to the like... hards on top or on the bottom? I think they're on top. Yeah, these are on top. I usually ride mediums, to be honest with you. I'm gonna try these hards out. Word. All right, here we go. This ratchet's pretty dope. It's it is. Speeds it up Super a Super quick. Look at this. When I was a kid growing up in, in skating the skate parks, like in the winter in the Midwest, we used to have a drill, and the drill always like helped out so much, but it was so powerful that like, if you didn't pay attention, your bolts would go halfway through your board. Yeah. It's kind of gnarly. I remember when I worked at a skate shop, I did that to a couple of kids' boards. And I felt pretty bad, but then I realized like these are little kids. They're not gonna break these things, you know? Yeah. Like these, these, these are not gonna go through though. You can tell. Usually I ride like diamond hardware where it's not as, as crazy, but yeah, those are those are really big, you're right. We were out, these are kind of gnarly. Yeah. This is why I always rock the diamond hardware, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got the shirt. <laughs> Damn, these things are gnarly to put put on, dude. I don't even know where I got this hardware from. It's sitting in my sticker box somewhere. <laughs> Jeez. These trucks are awesome though. The the hollow ones are like crazy light too. Like everyone always says like Indies are so heavy. Mm -hmm. And the hollows are just like super light. Super light. Yeah, the only trucks I can skate are Indies or Ventures. Ventures. That's yeah. it. That's all I can mess with. I won't even waste my time trying to get used to something new at my age, you know? Yeah. It's not even worth it to me. When I was a kid growing up, they didn't have the Indies were heavy. Super. So I was like heavy. a little dude, and I was riding heavy trucks. <laughs> but I was inspired by like Andrew Reynolds, and Reynolds always rode Indies. Yep. That's just what I uh, what I always rode. So we're gonna throw these in real quick. So I just kind of you know keep the original, put these new ones in, just the tops and the bones. Kind of help like break in quicker, I guess you can say, breaking your trucks quicker. Sometimes new bushings are kind of crazy, as you guys all probably know. And new shoes. New shoes are kind of hard to break in at times. Yeah. This just kind of speeds up the process. Yeah, dude. So I guess uh, we're supposed to go to Woodward uh, East next yeah. month together, right? Yeah, yeah. Dope, man. Have you been there before? I haven't been there. You've never been there? I've never been. Oh, my God, dude. Yeah. You're going to be amazed. No. It is so fun, dude. I'm hyped. I, when I was a kid, I grew up in uh, Woodward, did a, a camp doing, they called it uh, Lake Owen. Uh huh. I never went to the camp as a kid, but I, as like a younger adult, I went there and hung out. And it was cool. We did a lot of rad stuff. Went fishing out there. It was on a lake. Um, a lot of rad stuff to skate. They had trampolines and all that stuff. That was pretty cool. Yeah. A lot of fun, so I imagine Woodward's probably very similar. Dude, it's amazing, man. Woodward actually owned Lake Owen back then, too, so it was under the Woodward facility or whatever. Yeah. You can hear the motorcycles cruising by. We're uh, we're right by PCH. Beautiful day out here today. It is beautiful. I was actually gonna ride my bike, too, but carrying a skateboard on a bike is kind of it's kind of a hassle, huh? Kind of a hassle. We're working on actually a uh, uh, a skateboard rack for, for motorcycles. No way. Yeah. So Dude, that would probably do really well. So it should be it should be cool. Now we can just throw your board on the rack, you can just go rip and have you have some fun on the way to the skate spot. Yeah, I have a couple friends who I uh, I shoot who used to ride motorcycles but they stopped after a while because just it's really tough for a skater, you know, if that's their only mode of transportation. Yeah, oh yeah. It's really tough picking up boards. And yeah. <laughs> doing you gotta all have that. a car. But they're fun. They're fun to go cruise, like on the beach, and just kind of cruise around and enjoy a day like today on the bike is always cool. Right. And it's fun doing trips. We did like the Laughlin tour or Laughlin trip or whatever. Went out there. A lot of a lot of skaters actually I, I know ride motorcycles now. Adrian Lopez actually owns Loser Machine, which is 
clothing company that's based around motorcycles. Really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Jamie Thomas rides. PLG just bought a bike. Letitia bought a bike. It's kind of crazy. Honestly. That's so sick. Those people ride bikes, which is cool. It's a really cool American like pastime, you know? Yeah. Or lifestyle, actually. Yeah. Dude, that artist killed it, dude. Yeah. Four turned out pretty cool. It's yeah, one of my favorite really ones. Sick. All right, let's set up the wheels. So, what size of board did you skate? This is an eight and a quarter. Eight and a quarter. Yeah. <clears throat> so even looking at these wheels, they feel a little big. I'm so used to like fifties. Yeah. My, my wheels have been riding for a little while, but these things are gonna be good. They don't really flat spot either. That's why I kind of like those slicks. Mm -hmm. So they're pretty good. Yeah, I but, tend to always ride a, uh, a softer wheel because I hate flat spots, dude. Yeah. It's the worst. It sounds like kind of waterloggy, but I don't even care. Yeah. When you're doing like nose blunt tricks and those kind of things, your, your wheels are always tempted to flat spot, which is never fun at a street session. You know? Yeah, it's the worst. The bearings in here like this. I just kind of press them in. Super easy. Look at that. Swiss. Swiss bearings are good. They're FKD Swiss? They're FKD Swiss. They started All making right. Swiss bearings. Oh, that's smart. I don't think it's a ripoff of uh of Swiss, but No, it's just a it's, it's just, just a type of manufacturing. Type of manufacturing, exactly. I think yeah. a lot of people get confused by that. Yeah. I'm gonna they put do. the graphics on the outside. So the kids out there, they're gonna say, well, Swiss did it first, Bones. <laughs> no disrespect to Bones, it's just the type of manufacturing. Right? The style of bearings is awesome. So that's what I like to ride. So how many motorcycles do you own? I have uh, three motorcycles. Dang. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, a lot of fun. What, what's kind of like the difference between them? Well, I have um, I have two Harley Davidsons, and one's a Street Bob, which is a Dyna, and that was like my first bike. And then I have uh, another Dyna, which is the Lowrider, which is like the newer version. It's like an FXR, which we're speaking a different language here for you guys, but uh, <laughs> an FXR is like an older style Dyna bike, and that's like the newer style. It's called the Lowrider, and that bike is badass. So you guys who follow motorcycles and riding and all that stuff, you see the guys like doing all the wheelies, the unknown industry guys, those guys all ride the, the FXRs and now the Lowriders. Um, and then I have, I got into riding bikes and I had so much fun with it. Um, I, create, I, I got with a group of friends that ride all the time. They got dirt bikes, so I ended up getting a dirt bike and that's super fun too. So um, I ride dirt bikes, I have a DRZ 400 uh, Suzuki, which is pretty fun. Um, and Desenzo, Ryan Desenzo just bought a dirt bike, so we, we, we actually go riding dirt bikes all the time now. That must be crazy, dude. Yeah. You guys busting big ol' airs? Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, we like more trail riding, but we can hit some jumps and all that stuff. It's yeah. fun. You know, I don't want to go too crazy, but yeah, we, we definitely push each other on the, on the bikes a little bit, kind of like skating. Yeah. You know? Go a little bit faster. It's just when you fall on the motorcycle. Yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> it's a different, different animal. Damn, there's me. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot different. Yeah, a lot different. I've laid down my bike a couple times in the dirt. And yeah, it's like skating though. You know, get back up on that bike and go rip it. So we're almost done here. We got one more wheel to go. Yeah, it's kind of surprising. Some dudes, like I've noticed, aren't very good at multitasking. So it's like when they're talking, they stop doing everything. Oh yeah. You know, <laughs> and, I, and I have noticed all the. It's all the older guys. Who are good at it you know you can yeah. talk and kind of set your board up at the same time yeah, yeah you know what i mean like some of the, the younger dudes i've done it's like as soon as they start talking they just Pretty their hands stop the moving yeah <laughs> i've been doing it for so long that's like this is routine right here, right man. second nature it's crazy i'm 31 and i started skating when i was like eight years old and uh, i moved to california when i was 17. so i've been setting up skateboards for man, over 20 years I love it, man. I'm still at the spot, just just like I was nine years old, you know. All hyped. All hyped. Just have a new board and new graphic and stuff. It's crazy. I even realize I still got my name on a board and 
How long have you been you know, pro now? It's pretty cool. Um, since uh, 16, I turned pro, and I'm 31. So wow, long dude! Time, oh my god, it's yeah. about to be the half halfway through your life mark. Congrats, <laughs> G. That's yeah. freaking dope. It's fun, it's fun. Yeah, this year so. was my 22nd year skating. Awesome. So for me, it was like really cool just to like, it's funny cause like the older you get birthdays are kind of like, ah crap, I'm another year older. Yeah. But then every year you're still skating. You're yeah. like, damn dude, I'm still skating. Yeah. Like this is awesome, I you know? Majority of it just take care of your body, you know? Like, it is. You know, I feel like myself, I'm stretching more as I get older. I'm eating, you know, better. Um, I started doing yoga a little bit. That's hard though to get like oh, a little man. of that. It's, it's so, so, so hard. difficult, but it's so good for your body. It is. Stuff like that, but eating eating well is really really important and uh, so important. Stretching, so and staying away from injuries, which that's hard to do. But yeah, um, I've been very fortunate to to not have nothing too crazy. Knock on, knock on, lots of wood. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so um, so there you have it. That's my board setup. Here it is. Got the grip, got the nice wheels, brand new Swiss bearings, and uh, we're ready to shred it. Let's have some fun. Cool, thanks, thanks Greg. Awesome. Peace.